Biden's $1.2 trillion infrastructure policy and how it will benefit the state of Arkansas. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erica Thomas. And I'm Darren Bob. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker t uh, tells us or breaks down the priorities in our state that will receive money based on the law. It's expected that Arkansas will receive $3.9 billion over five years starting in 2022. Any way you cut it, great news for Arkansas. Uh, fantastic news when it when it comes to strengthening our infrastructure. We all know that that's been a um, hot button issue. And here in Arkansas, we certainly are happy to be finding out that these federal funds will be available. Approximately $278 million of these funds are for bridge replacement, rehabilitation and preservation. 3.6 billion is a federal aid highway apportion programs. Arkansas Department of Transportation spokesman Dave Parker says it will be later this week before they learn how these funds will be divided. He says the state of Arkansas will not be given a check from the federal government. We will decide on projects. We spend the money uh, and then we, in essence, uh, ask the federal government for a reimbursement um, provided we've met certain requirements in the program, which which we are good at. Parker says our state will roughly get back 80 percent of what we spend on these projects. He says our state is in good shape as far as road funding, thanks to voters approving making the half cent sales tax permanent. Springdale Mayor Doug Sprouse says he's hopeful these funds will make projects already on the books happen faster, like the Springdale Northern Bypass or Highway 612. He knows there are a lot of big projects out there and knows the state will put these funds to good use. I'm not sure how this money gets to those local projects yet, if it does. Um, but we'll, you know, we've always been good partners with RDOT uh, and as a, as a city and, and we'll we'll continue to look for ways to partner to to uh, to help make connections that need to be made. In Springdale, covering news where you live, Catherine Gilker, 5 News. RDOT says it hopes to find out as soon as Wednesday all the requirements tied to spending these funds. All right.